What is going on guys, it is Base here back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play multiplayer on Kerbal Space Program with your friends. It is not dark multiplayer, uh, I don't have that working anymore. But I will be showing you guys how to uh, hook up with your friends here. And uh, September 11th here in the States, so uh, go ahead and pay your respects today. And uh, condolences go out to anybody who was affected or their families. But um, let's get started here. So we're going to go ahead and type in Luna Multiplayer. Go ahead and click on the first link here. I always like to open the wiki, the Wikipedia. If you have any questions or anything, they normally link to this. If you have any questions, basically, I'll be over here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit download latest um, Luna multiplayer LMP. And what you wanna go ahead and is uh, download this right here, the multiplayer release. Should download really fast. Go ahead and drag that to my desktop. As you see, I already have one. We'll turn this down a little. All right, perfect. And keep this open for you. So as you can see, I already uh, have one, but I'm just gonna show you for the purposes here. And let's start fresh. So we're gonna need to open uh, Kerbal Space Program, your folder. So what you need to do is, um, it's probably gonna be in your guys' C drive if you, if you haven't changed it. So you would be C drive programs and then Steam. For me, it's in my, uh, where is it? It's in my games folder, Steam. And once you get to the Steam folder, it should be Steam Apps Common. Then you look for Kerbal Space Program. And then here you're gonna want to open up your uh, release here. I will do a different video on setting up a server for now. I already have a server, so it's right here. So I'll bring this out. And you wanna open up the readme and go over that um, when you guys have it but it's telling you about the server and whatnot, but uh, worry about that later. So go ahead and hit client. And you can either drag the game data into the main folder, but uh, just to be safe, I always like to drag the this folder into the game data. It's gonna try to copy, I already have the exact same thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. <clears throat> and what we wanna do is go back to the main directory here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my server. Like I said, I'll do a separate video for that. You see everything is all good and while that's up go ahead and open up ksp everything looks good here with the master servers backups perfect everything's looking good so far let's see You probably will have a screen here asking you to accept something if it's the first time you installed, but uh, all you have to do is hit accept. So here, you can change your name. My name in game is Afrogos Pro. You can change your in game name, color, and whatnot. Let me go ahead and uh, turn that down. Now we got the Kerbal music in here. Like I said, you can uh, adjust the RGB, and um, we can worry about that later. Right now, all you need is a name. I'm connecting to my local server that I just opened. What you would do for the address is if you were to play on my server, I would send you my IP that I have open and then you leave the port and depending on the password. But right now you just want to go ahead and once you get that in, hit connect. And if you have a problem connecting the first time, check your um, quality settings because it will tell you if the server is set to be on high quality and you're on, for example, medium or something for textures, you won't be able to connect. So as you can see, I'm here in game. Everything's working. You have the chat. You have to, you know, chat to your friends if they're in here. Um, the craft library, I haven't used that yet. And then snapshots. And your, you know, settings, like I said, to change your name in game if you wanted to. But um, that should be it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. It's a pretty easy install, but um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys find it helpful. Make sure you do subscribe and like the video to help me out. And I will see you guys next time.